it all depends on how quickly you adapt to this new technology even the top notch companies like a uh, goldman pwc barclays and uh, deloitte ey use appian but now the question arises what is the best way to learn appian so the best way to learn is hello everyone welcome back to part 4 of appian tutorial series i hope you guys are doing great and are in pink of health so today i have gathered uh, you know all the frequent asked questions about appian and in this video i will try to answer them to the best of my knowledge so without wasting further more time let's get right to do a video so here comes our first question what is appian So Appian provides a very rich drag and drop tools that can be configured without doing any coding. Okay, but if if you want to utilize the full strength of the Appian, you must write the code. Okay, you know it's not mandatory to learn any prior high level coding languages. It is very different uh, from the high level coding languages. Okay, and uh, yes. you should have uh, you know good knowledge of uh, sql queries you must know writing sql queries views and stored procedures it basically simplifies development and maintenance work and it can be used for designing business workflows okay it's a bpm tool and most of the companies prefer it due to its mobile compatibility we can develop uh, you know business related applications and solve complex workflows into simple workflows and also there are many other uh, bpm tools out there uh, like pega ibm bpm mendix and manimo appian and pega these are the two major bpm tools which are booming in the market and the most important thing is it's a low code tool we can deliver applications or workflows on the fly in just a snap of fingers like banking healthcare insurance life science energy uh, and uh, many other uh, domains appian is now widely considered and also appian allows faster development okay and it also increases collaboration and it can help to reduce the overall cost of software development it can also be integrated with other systems uh, such as python and external data sources it's not that you just have to do drag and drop to develop an entire application you will have to write the coding you can just drag and drop the components okay let's say uh, i need a text field you can drag and drop but the validation which i need on the text field i will have to write the code for that right so you can just drag and drop the component to create the user interface okay moving on to a next faq who can get started with appian so one of appian's top advantages is its low code development so this means you don't have to be a programming expert to make complex applications because it's very easy to use it lets you uh, you know run complex workflows automate task you just need a web browser to get started with appian it's a completely cloud based so no installations or hardware are needed if you are coming from a background uh, having zero knowledge of uh, coding even you can get started with appian okay anyone having basic knowledge of uh, general programming uh, can get started with appian all right moving on to a next question is appian easy to learn yes appian is very easy to learn you can learn it in no time it all depends on how quickly you adapt to this new technology you should have good logical and analytical reasoning ability even the top notch companies like a goldman pwc barclays 
and uh, Deloitte, EY, use Appian. But now the question arises, what is the best way to learn Appian? So the best way to learn is to go through the tutorials on YouTube and uh, exercises provided in the Appian documentation. Okay. Once you go through them, try to create some basic examples provided in the documentation and try to enhance it based on a thought process. Okay. And one more thing guys, you must have a strong logical thinking. Okay. You should be able to understand the customer problem and solve it in the most efficient and effective way. Cool? It's not just a drag and drop. You should be able to write or understand algorithm. Moving on to our next FAQ. Levels of certifications. So there are three levels of certification. The first one is Appian Certified Associate Developer. The second one is Appian Certified Senior Developer and the third one is Appian Certified Lead Developer. Okay, so Appian Certified Lead Developer is a bit tricky and tough certification, I would say. I am uh, myself L1 and L2 certified. When I say L1 and L2, that means level 1 and level 2. I am associate uh, developer certified and senior developer certified. I am having uh, somewhere around 2.7 years of experience and uh, uh, yeah for 2.7 years of experience I would say it uh, it is a bit you know early to take a lead certification. If you want me to make a video on exam topics for senior certified or associate uh, certified i will be more than happy to do, do that let me know below in the comment section cool moving on to the next question how is appian different from other coding languages appian is way different than the other coding languages in terms of scalability in terms of pricing, in terms of customization and in terms of its easy to use ability. Next question, does Appian require coding? No. In a way, yes. It does require coding because it's written in Java but it has its own coding language. Okay. You can enter into Appian with limited programming experience as well but at the same time you must have basic knowledge of oops concept loops how loops work okay SQL and data types you can sign up for a community edition and take the free training it will indeed take some time to master all right let's see what we have next in our plate Thank you for watching. I think that's all I have for today. If you want more such videos, please like my video, share it as much as you can. And yes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you haven't watched Appian interview question series, please go watch it. It will be useful for you guys. Until then, cheers. Bye-bye.